how we can draw covalent compounds now. We will look at uh, nitrogen gas as an example. Okay, so whenever you see um, nitrogen, hydrogen, uh, chlorine, bromine, iodine, this kind of thing, uh, the first thing you might wonder is, uh, am I drawing elements? Okay, but please take note that whenever we talk about uh, these gases, we are looking at uh, what they exist as at room temperature and pressure. All right, so in this case, let's say nitrogen, obviously it is in the gaseous state, right? So nitrogen gas, um, if we look at the substance itself, it is uh, N2, it is a diatomic molecule. It is not, uh, uh, you are not drawing the element, or rather you are not drawing the atom, you are drawing the molecule, okay? So, um, so with that understanding, then you can start to draw your dot and cross diagram, all right? So um, very quickly, I'm just going to write down what I just said, okay? So nitrogen at room temperature, it exists as a gas, and it is N2 molecule, okay? Nitrogen gas, all right? So based on the understanding, you can then know the chemical formula, which is N2, okay? And so uh, translating this from chemical formula to electronic structure, which is your dot and cross diagram, you will then need to... Uh, be able to remember what is the electronic configuration, right? 2.5. So each of the nitrogen atom, it requires three more electrons in order to achieve the stable octet electronic configuration. And I have given you, uh, shown you the way I, I do this, right? Uh, if you think about it, nitrogen needs three more. So during covalent bonding, each of the nitrogen will just donate, not say donate, they will uh, share, okay? It will take out three electrons from the valence shell, which he has five, right? Five. Each nitrogen has five. They just take out three each to share. So over here, you see uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three from each nitrogen. Okay? Then, of course, because you know that the valence shell has five, you need to make sure that the other two is being drawn in using the correct symbol. And then after that, you can fill in your inner shell. All right? So I suggest that you draw the outermost shell first, overlap it, then it's easier. So here you can see that nitrogen N2 has a triple covalent bond because there's three pairs of electrons being shared. Okay, then uh, again, uh, you need to put in your legend, but in this case, it's a little bit more straightforward because it's the same type of atom. Okay, so this is a full two mark answer. Smiley face. This is a good answer, okay? So you can press submit. Yeah.